Good morning, guys. Welcome to this week's episode. Been a bit of a challenging week, but... Yeah, we weren't expecting the week to go as it did. Um, we were planning on doing fairing and sanding and hopefully painting by the end of this week, but that hasn't That happened. hasn't happened, but other <laughs> stuff has, as you all uh, get to see in this week's episode. So, enjoy. We are Davy and Erica, an adventurous couple who has taken on the challenge of a lifetime. We are rebuilding a hurricane damaged catamaran and we are starting to see progress of all our hard work. Subscribe to our channel to follow our journey. When faced with a challenge, look for a way, not a way out. Hey guys, welcome to the secret shed. This is the shed of all the goodies. So. This is where we've got our uh, Amacote 370, which is our, uh, it's going to be the epoxy barrier coat going on, anti-foul paint, our so resins. What, what anti-foul paint are we using? So we're going to use two different types. So if you want to pan up to the top there, Stephen just came back from the store yesterday and he picked up a load of different paints for us. So the so top coat and the... The top coat we're using, which is the bright white to do the top coat, so above the waterline. Um, and we've got two different types of anti-foul paint. Um, we wanted to put a different color because we've got the ablative, which is going on, which is this one. We're going to put this on both boats. We wanted a different color because this is black. We want a different color as a hard paint underneath. So we've gone with red. Stephen wasn't happy with red. He didn't want red on his boat for some reason. So he has bought black to go under black. Yeah. We've bought red to go under. But the black. reasoning behind this is that if we put the red on and then we put the black on top of that, once the black uh, starts once rubbing that off, starts looking red. Then we know that we need to be hauled out. Yeah. But start, we'll start thinking. Start about thinking. It. About yeah. it. And being a catamaran, it isn't the easiest to haul out in every location. No. Um. So it gives you a little bit of extra time to kind of plan. Plus, with this new cool product that we have, hopefully, um, it'll hopefully be only out. one hole needs scrubbing. Yeah. yeah. We'll see what happens with that. Anyway, it should be good. But anyway, yeah, we've got all the products, everything we need in our secret little shed. But we're not telling the location because this is our secret shed. Again. So guys, we actually are super excited to show you this. Um, we got it, sent a product from an amazing company. Um, I think it's going to be quite cool. Uh, leave in the comments below if any of you have this system on your boats. Um, it's Do you want to explain what the system is? Smart system, smart anti-fouling. So it uses ultrasonic to kind of make bubbles on the hull. Um, so that it's growth, supposed, yeah, it's hard supposed to growth reduce the grow. hard growth and soft growth so that you don't have to get pulled out as often. Yeah, so um, it's so quite cool. We're going to be doing an experiment. We're just going to be putting on one hole, um, but leave us some feedback, guys, because, um, yeah, anyone got any advice and tips? We've never put this stuff on our boat before. Uh, what's the pros? What's the cons? It's going to be cool because we are a catamaran, so we'll put it on our side, so the starboard side of the boat yeah. where we sleep, and uh, in even a month's time back when we're back in the water. It should show pretty quickly if it's working, especially here in yeah. Lupron, because the bay is, uh, it's a lot of hard and soft growth here. So it's hopefully really our quick. side will be nice and clean, and then the other side, we'll only have to scrub one side. Yeah. See how so that goes. We'll see. Stay tuned for more videos on this, guys. Box, well, what's happening? She kind of looks stoned. <laughs> Why is she so mellow? I'm not sure. But why is mommy putting silly little pink feet on you? She's Can you explain to the camera why and what you're doing? Okay, so lots of my friends have been posting on Facebook that as we come into the summer, um, it, the pavement gets really hot on their little feet. So you have to protect your little paws, your little feet. So, so I got her sandals. And pink ones. I'm really not sure why she's so chilled while you're doing it. She doesn't look very happy. Fox, are you happy about this decision? What's your thoughts? <laughs> this is exactly <laughs> what my old dog did. Akira did the same with the snowshoes. Are you gonna walk? <laughs> Go to mommy. Come on, Fox. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> are we frozen in time? <laughs> we cannot move. I cannot move. Where's mommy? All right, guys, slight change of plans this morning. Foxy's definitely not feeling very well. We thought it was the shoes, but she's completely under the weather. 
Erica's getting her ready to go and uh, we're going to be heading off to Coconut Hound, which is a dog sanctuary, to try and get some help this morning. Coconut Hound is a place here in Lupron uh, where rescued animals go to be taken care of before they get sent to forever homes. So this morning Fox was feeling really lethargic. She wasn't moving, she wasn't eating or drinking, and it wasn't because of the shoes we put on her. Um, she just really wasn't feeling well. Alrighty guys, so I want to give a massive shout out to, sorry, what is your organization yeah. called? Uh, Dogs and Cats of the Dominican Dogs and Republic. Cats of the Dominican Republic. Um, we've just brought Foxy in because Foxy's been feeling a little bit under the weather today. Um, and Kim here has sorted her out some tablets to try and make sure she's feeling better again. Um, but we're going to put a link in the description guys. If you want to support a really good charity here in, the, in Lupron in Dominican, then please find it in the description, give these guys a shout and uh, drop them a couple of bucks. This is how important it is, guys, that people actually look after dogs and cats. Um, they've got a great sanctuary here. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, a little yappy guys down there right now. So if you want to adopt a dog as well, you can also go onto their website and they do actually send them across to Canada. So. Uh, you might get lucky, but they're they're in demand. All right, guys. So um, we're in a taxi. We're um, heading off to take uh, Foxy to the vet. She's not very well. Hasn't got any better today. So uh, we're going to go and uh, get a little bit of help. Poor little Munchkin. Alrighty guys, so um, just been to the vets, we're super happy, we've, well, Foxy's not very well, she's got, what was it called again? Uh, kind of a weird name. Alikiosis. Alikiosis or something? I'm it's, saying that really wrong. It's probably that's completely right. wrong, but anyway, that's how we think it sounds. Um, it's something that the, the dogs pick up from ticks. Yeah. Um, it's really not very good for the dogs, so that's why she's feeling poorly. Um, but we found out what it is and we actually already did get the right medication from Kim at the sanctuary But we yeah. got a little bit worried. She was getting worse. So we actually went to a, a proper vet um, so She's had the blood test and everything and blood yeah. test. She's had something stuck up a bum. She's uh, yeah She's had all the bits and pieces done that she needed to have done um, Still looks a bit sorry for herself. But anyway, Foxy's on the mend so We're celebrating so we're gonna have a since we've paid for the taxi to bring us to Porta Plata, yeah. we've decided to have a, a steak dinner and uh, the taxi driver's waiting for us out the front. We don't do this very often, so we're taking advantage. Um, and I'm gonna share my steak with Fox. I don't know if she wants it. She's not really hungry very much at the moment, but anyway. Anyway, just wanted to fill you in. Foxy's on the mend and well, film some more tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks guys. Fox must be feeling a little bit better. Um, she always does this, sits at full stretch of her leash. Um, she does like the beach a little bit. She's been digging in the sand. And look at that view. We do count ourselves lucky to be here in the Dominican Republic. It's nice to have a nice dinner out every now and again. It's always exciting in the boat yard when there's a boat on the move. This is Chris being put back into the water after he's done all the repairs for the osmosis that he had. Our boat's looking fantastic. <laughs> As you would have just seen, the uh, door people have come back to, I think we talked about the door, what, a month ago? We did. When we got the it's original one. It's actually getting one. quite comical now because they've turned up with three different sets of doors. <laughs> and um, this was the final fitting. They actually made them really nice, good quality materials this time. They're all shiny, no scratches. And they're about seven or eight inches too big. <laughs> this so, the, time. so the first time they were about three inches, three inches, three inches. Yeah too small for the door and now we've gone um, on the and opposite end <laughs> so um yeah it's uh, it's <laughs> it's just, a comical we afternoon spin, right? we should probably spin because this is the big hole anyway this is where it's going to actually be and this is going to be the size of the opening <laughs> uh, which is going to be fantastic once it's actually installed yeah. um 
But anyway, the guys are supposed to be coming back now. They've taken the door away to cut the glass down and refit yeah. the bottom. And um, we'll put the time lapse back on and we'll see if it fits. Uh, Keep your fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Leave a comment at the end. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, so they came back and the door does fit in height-wise now. Um, but when you open it fully, it doesn't completely open. So it is actually too wide still. So it's about three inches too wide. Um, very comical, very funny. Let's hope they can fix it. So they're going to take it away one more time and hopefully it'll be perfect. Do you think it's going to work? Fourth time, fifth time lucky, maybe. Yeah, maybe we'll need three. That still doesn't open all the way. No, so no that's open all the way. See, see, that's all. Uh, so guys, as you saw yesterday, the guys, they did come and fit the door. Um, had to leave it there. Was a little bit frustrated by the end of it by the time they left. Um, it's a lot better than what we had, um, but it's... It'll have to do for now. Um, it doesn't actually open all the way, but that is because there's not that much space for it to go. So when they did the original door, they made this top rail only to there. So if they had made it a little bit longer, maybe it would be able to go. If you can see down there, it could go another like half inch down there. And then it would open a little bit more, making our entryway the size it's supposed to be. Um, I don't know, the whole, the whole experience wasn't fantastic. Um, it took a lot longer. They made promises that they never really kept. And uh, yeah. We do have some fiberglassing work that needs to be fixed around the door though. And uh, hopefully that will be happening soon. Once the paint is on the bottom, then we'll move inside. Um, so David is going to have to take the door off and then refit it again anyways. So maybe he'll be able to MacGyver it a little bit better and uh, make it fit the hole. Um, last week's video, I did mention we had some exciting news. Um, so we have actually found an apartment in town. So if any of you know Bums on a Boat or follow them, the apartment they stayed at in town across from the restaurant that we call the Patio Los Palmeras. Um, it's a cute little apartment up a spiral staircase and it's like 60 bucks a month. We've uh, acquired that for the month of May. Yeah, month of May. I got kind of stuck there. Uh, month of May. And hopefully that means we'll be able to blitz the inside of the boat. So there's going to be lots of dusty stuff that we're going to be doing inside the boat, um, like the big mold project here, um, and some work in the bilges, and some of the side stuff. So there's a lot of work that we need to do inside. And to save us from having to clean up all the dust every day and just make the process go that much quicker for the sake of 60 bucks we've decided to get this apartment in town so we're really looking forward to it and uh yeah bring on the next chapter so guys thank you for watching this week's episode it didn't really turn out uh well this week didn't really turn out as we had planned it to be um but what in life does so dealing with different anxieties dealing with family members who aren't feeling well um it all adds to the stress and when you're not in your home country it is a little bit difficult as well um we are super grateful that Fox is okay, and we will keep making progress. It's a little setback, but we've had how many setbacks now? So um, thank you for all your support, guys. Thanks for watching. Give this video a like, a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment. Thank you so much to all of our patrons. Cheers, guys. Stay tuned for next week. On the short jokes just yet. No, I said the small suit would be too small for you. I think it worked. I think it worked. Now that's official. See, it's got motorcycle zippers and everything. It has got zippers and cable ties and all sorts of stuff going on. No, it doesn't close. Can you send it back?
It will. Probably something yeah, stuck in the way. There it is. There we go. We're good. I'm going to keep the collar up so I look like, um, what's it called? on? Um, okay, so here. just if you wanted to see, it is a medium regular. This is a medium. It's a bit long. <laughs> it's still a bit long, isn't it? Well, roll up the cuffs. We're talking, she was taking the, she's got the camera running and she's taking the pee out of my feet. So you should have got re medium, medium short. <laughs> That's called small, I think. It's called Davy size. <laughs> it's fine, we can fold them up. Why is everyone being mean to me? I'm not being mean. Eric is. There. Good yeah, get a picture of it before it's we pretty start good. working it. The only problem I can see... <laughs> the heat goes... Yeah. Why couldn't you get a white or a pink or a yellow or an oh, orange? If I had a vacuum white, it would have been pissing. Oh, it's going to show all the dirt. It's hot already. I've only been out of two seconds. So only wear the shade. Okay. Yeah, only wear it. Only in work in the shade. We're in the bloody Caribbean. <laughs> they have shade in the Caribbean. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> well, then Eric is going to stand out. What colour's yours? Umbrella. What colour's oh, yours? Grey. You got. Oh, so you got a better colour. I didn't think of a better colour. I thought a different colour. What colour did you get? Grey, a lighter colour. Right, you want my large? No, it'll never fit me. I know. Well, you could cut the legs off, then it might. <laughs> what about the stomach? Could we sew it in a bit? 